We are going to show you how to access a box and whisker chart, which is how you look at your students' reading and math CBM benchmark data. First, go to www.aimsweb.com. Click the U.S. Customer Login button on the top of the page. Enter your login information and click Login. Click the red My Classes tab on the top left side of the page. Now the reading scores will come up first. We'll talk about how to access your math benchmark scores in a minute. If you are looking for one individual student, scroll through the page and find the student's name. Names are in alphabetical order. Click on the Report link by looking directly across from the student's name. At the top of the page, in the gray box, Click on Expand next to Report Options. Under the drop-down menu next to the word Comparisons, choose DeKalb District 428. Then Report Method, click Criterion, and then next to Criteria, choose Local District Norms Intervention Planning. Set the target for the same criteria, Local District Norms Intervention Planning. Unselect the Show Target option, also Make sure the Show Behavior Tracker box is unselected. Leave all other settings alone. Click Display. Now go to the top and click the red PDF tab. To save this file, go to File, Save As, and to print, you would go to File, Print. Now, to understand how to interpret this chart, let's start with examining the axes. On the left side of the graph, where it says units, this refers to the number of words read per minute. On the bottom of the graph, each benchmark period is denoted. For example, 1W means first grade winter benchmark period. 3S means third grade spring benchmark period. Let's look at fall of second grade. The blue dot is your students, or in this case, Bart Simpson's score for that benchmark period. It looks as if Bart's score is between 31 and 62 words read correctly per minute. If you look below the graph, there is a table with all of the exact scores. Bart's official score for the fall of second grade was 40 words read correctly per minute. Going back to the graph, you see that Bart's blue dot, or his score, falls within the green box. The green box illustrates the average range for all District 428 second graders during that benchmark period. The line in the middle of the box denotes the precise 50th percentile. So BART's score is within the average range for this benchmark period. Now let's look at winter of third grade. Here BART's score is on the orange line. This orange line denotes a score that is between the 10th and the 25th percentile. The 25th percentile is right here where the orange line meets the green box. And the start of the 10th percentile is at the end of the line. Again, his score appears to be about 62 words read correctly. When we look down at the table, yes, it is 62 words read correctly. So, during this time period, Bart's score was below the average range and he probably received a Tier 2 type of intervention. Now, at the spring of third grade, Bart's score is lower and appears to be just below the orange line. This indicates that his score is below the 10th percentile for this benchmark period. As you can see, his score remained a 62, but the other students in the district made much more progress. And that's why Bart's score is in the 10th percentile. Remember, his score is compared to the same grade peers in the district not against his own progress or some other set criteria. Although BART doesn't score greater than average, some students do. The blue line on top of the green box indicates scores that are at the 25th to the 90th percentile, which is in the above average range. A student score that is above the blue line is above the 90th percentile. 
Now, let's go back to AIMSWeb to look up your student's math CBM score. Click on the gray mathematics tab. Select the MCOMP bubble. Now, you'll follow the same steps we discussed before. You'll click on Reports next to your student's name and use the same report options. Comparison is DeKalb District 428, Method is Criterion, Criteria and Target Sets are Local District Norms Intervention Planning, and make sure the Show Target and Show Behavior Tracker are not selected, then hit Display. You will interpret this box and whisker chart the same way as the reading scores. The units on the left represent the number of points earned in the 8-minute test rather than the words read per minute. On the bottom, the grade level and benchmark period is denoted the same way. For example, 4F is fall of 4th grade. Finally, let's go back to Ames Web. Let's say you'd like to look at or print all of the students' graphs in your class. Click on the Pathway icon here. Again, do the same report options discussed before. You'll click on Reports next to your student's name and use the same report options. Comparison is DeKalb District 428, Method is Criterion, Criterion Target Sets are Local District Norms Intervention Planning, and make sure Show Target and Show Behavior Tracker are not selected, then hit Display. Be sure to make this into a PDF for an easy way to print, but just make sure the front to back printing is turned off. To do this, go to File, Print, then click on Properties, then under Duplex, select Off. Make sure to click OK and then OK again. This concludes the CBM Benchmark Tutorial.